Hello guys and welcome back to The Sim. In this episode I'm going to create the captain's side rear bulkhead wall where the CBs and the jump seat are located. Eventually I'll create the whole rear bulkhead wall so you get that feeling of opening the cockpit door and stepping in to a 737 cockpit. I've only got one caveat on that design and it must be detachable as a complete unit so we can pull it aside and continue filming like we are now. That being said, let's head outside and cue that montage. So it's really windy and it's really not helping when you've got a sail into the wind. Stop it. See? It's a new day here in Brunei. Had a disastrous day yesterday. I dropped the filming camera and had to go and get a new one. That was a very expensive mistake. Quick recap of where I am in the build because I don't know what footage I can say from the previous camera. It's like a giant Airfix model. All the panels were pre-cut and made. I've bolted them together, screwed them together. I filled the holes with their first coat of filler. I'll get the CNC machine now to start making the CB panels and we'll get the inner skin created for the coat hanger room which is this section here. Let's see what we can achieve today. Hopefully it'll be a lot more productive. With the CB panel complete Let's get this internal skin done. Created this simple box frame and the inner skin will attach to this. And that just sits in this gap here. 13 millimeters back from the edge on both sides. And we'll just screw it from both sides for security. This piece of three millimeter MDF should, in theory, slide down the inside and create the inside internal skin. The inner skin now is attached to this upper brace and I should just be able to fold it in and then screw it into position. And to add extra support, I'm just going to put some braces in, which will also help set the distance of the two panels. That's the inner skin all secured, and it's really braced the unit up. Now, this forward bulkhead is still a bit floppy, so again, need to put some blocks in to tie it together, and then that will create a really rigid structure. Rubbish. Let's get on. So if I get up close and show you these guys, this is a 3P, 3D printed foot for the jump seat. The foot leg should sit in there and that bolts to the floor and secures everything. 
Here is a bit of 25 millimeter wood stock that I've made. Just need to round over the edges rather than be square, just like the real aircraft, and fit them in to the piece of wood. So, fitting a round over bit into the table. This is the first attempt, because I imagine I actually don't know what the radiuses of these, of these router bits are. We'll see how it goes. Always better to go smaller than bigger to start with. I don't want to make another one of these. Let's see how this goes. And that is the jump seat foot on. Seems to fit perfectly. First time. That's happened a few times now. Always a bonus. Here in front of me is the jump seat base. Used the CNC router to cut the holes. Then used a router to put the half inch round over on. And now I need to create the support structure to support the weight at the bottom. With that, it's just a simple box structure created from standard stock. Got a big length behind me, it's gonna cut it up and I'll show you in a second what it's gonna look like. And that is the jump seat base created. Time to attach it to the unit. The sun is going down behind me. It's time to fit the first circuit breaker panel. This is CB panel 6.3 and cut a bit of hinge here. This is the old piano hinge. Hopefully this will slide in. It's a tight fit. There we go, like so. Just line it up and I'll put a few screws in just to hold it in place while I set the distances. Getting to the end now of this section of the build. This is the captain's side bulkhead, CB bulkhead and Realistically, we've just got this part of the ceiling to fit, which is right here, and hopefully this will go in like so and finish it off. Still got the door to go on and the joining structure in the center. That'll be separate, that's gonna be quick release. So again, the two halves can be separated nice and easy. Let's get this fitted and see where we get to. That's this roof panel fitted. I've got a small section to go in here. And before I do that, I just want to round over some of these edges with a little router, just to tidy it up, ready for painting. And now, the nice round over edge, get rid of that fly. <laughs> I'll just finish it with the, the orbital sander, just to make it nice and smooth. Again, ready for painting. So down here in this corner right here, where I couldn't get the router to get all the way to the bottom because obviously it hits the floor, I'm just going to use the orbital sander once again because MDF, especially 6mm MDF, sands very quickly. In fact, it's very easy to sand too much.
over the last three days, I've managed to do the grey, the black and the white paint, including the outer shell. We've got the jump seat to go in here, the CB panels to go on here, but first of all, in this lower blank here, I've got the oxygen panel that needs to go in. And for simplicity's sake, I'm going to use one of the old oxygen panels from my old side wall that was too big to go into the new side walls, which should fit in here no problem. It's not an exact replica of a real 737 oxygen panel, especially the new series, but it will do for me. Next up are the jump seat resting mounts. They should go on here like so. They're 3D printed, but there's no holes for them. So, let me get some holes drilled. If I turn you around right now, there are two massive hornbills behind us. the oxygen panel and the jump seat ready to go, let's create the first CB panel. As you can see the CNC machine has been busy, I've painted it black, also painted the hinge black here, attach these two together and then put it in and populate it with all the CBs I've got. With the first CB panel installed and this big box of circuit breakers from work. Now these were from an incident where an aircraft got soaked in fuel and they all had to be replaced. There's probably nowhere near enough that I need for this project. So I'll populate the ones nearest the edges so you can see them when you walk into the cockpit with the real ones. And then from this design, I will go inside and 3D print just the heads to stick through. That's some CBs mounted in the CB panels, the rest will probably be 3D printed ones. So as you can see, when you come around the corner or you look behind the pilot seat, you'll see the real ones. This panel I've still yet to make, so I'm going to move on now to the 3D printed seat rails. And these are for the jump seat and they mount to the sidewall and they support the jump seat back. Here we are, another day in Brunei. It's been about a week since I started this build and I've just got two parts left to build. I've got about an hour before I have to go to work and I'm hoping to get this finished so I can get this video published and then move on to the first officer side bulkhead. Here in my hand is the latch panel that I created last night. It's just a Perspex panel with 3D printed hinges and a 3D printed latch. As you can see it's got a big silver spring in there to keep it closed. Hopefully I'll paint that black just to hide it so it doesn't stand out so much. The last circuit breaker panel is created in aluminium. It weighs a fair bit and of course it has actually got real circuit breakers attached to it. And that brings us to the end of this episode. Captain's rear bulkhead wall, all complete, ready to go. Of course it's not finished. Still got the cockpit door to attach here. Probably have to increase the strength of the structure there as well. Got all the decals to put on. Got all the fake CBs to attach. Whew. Got the decals up here. Got the rear white dome light to go up there. 
However, I think that will be about it. And not forgetting the cushions, which I'll have to have specially made, especially if I want them to look good. One there, a big one here, and then a little head plate at the top. But I think that'll do for now. It's actually time for me to go to work, and I'll catch you later, guys. Sim out.